Well, this doesn't sound good with Marvin Johnson and the manager at all. Hello and welcome to this video. So, after the game yesterday, the journalists did their job where they wrote to the manager to find out what's going on and seeing why certain things are not happening. But it's, it's, it doesn't sound good. It's very cryptic. So, we'll get into it. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel, please. Like and help the algorithm. Share and get us in front of people's face and subscribe and let me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live. There is a debrief Monday. I'm doing it Monday. I'm not doing it. Uh, I didn't do it after the game. I just, I couldn't be dealing with the toxicity that was going to come. And I needed time to put my own thoughts so it wasn't just a massive rage attack because it was going to be. Um, so, Sicko has made it very clear that he wasn't, a, he was, he was a huge part of Darren Moore's team last season, Marvin Johnson. Right now, he doesn't look like he's anywhere near uh, Sicko's team at all. Um, he turn around and say why why he's not part of the thing, but he has he had kind of said of it. So it's a bit gutting for Marvin Johnson himself in a sense because he was quite happy to sign that contract. He was seeing like everything was going in the right direction, and in that sense. But after the game yesterday, he's absent from the squad after we were beaten for two. But it, his answers left more questions being sent. And Sika said, you ask, you, if you ask him why maybe he can tell you, the alpha told the media when questioned about Johnson continued absence. Everyone works hard in training. It's simple. It's, it's okay to work hard in training, but in games, we need to stay more concentrated and give better solutions. The competition is demanding. If you ask where our starting point was, it was very low. And now we need to change that a lot. That says to me that they've had a falling out and he doesn't rate his training ability. He doesn't like how he trains or he's not grafting it. it. It's not good. Marvin Johnson was someone who was very youthful in this squad and got championship experience. He can run at a man. Uh, I don't think it's a case of him not being able to adapt to tactics. Because we've seen him in the past that he can uh, adapt to tactics. He's shown he can adapt to tactics. He did it under Dan Moore when he was playing as a uh, left back. Not a natural left back, but he played there and he did okay. And I think the thing we've got to do is try and... I, I said I wanted to see him be in this squad uh, next game. That now says to me he ain't going to be in this squad anytime soon. And that's a concern for me because... I think he's someone who could come in and change it, really change the fortune for us. And again, somebody made the uh, kind of thing saying about Joss. Have we got our first Joss um, Wild Myth situation going here? And we could have. And it's it, it concerning. It is concerning because you don't want to have that in if there's a falling out that early because it's now, now he said that, everyone's now going to be questioning what's gone on, what's happened. Is the, is the discontent in the camp? Um, It's not good. It's not good in that sense. Uh, I think the, he could answer it a little bit better, but that basically you're meaning why Johnson isn't in the squad. Ask Marvin Johnson, and I wonder if the... Um, media going to try and see if they can get him to answer what's going on but that's where we're at we'll see what happens but don't think we'll see marvin johnson anytime soon in this squad